speechless. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So today, Kenny and I. What's up, guys? How's everything going? Are heading to downtown LA. We're gonna go to brunch downtown LA. It's a restaurant. And we're going to meet the owner and film some awesome food. So let's go. <laughs> so I got the bibimbap breakfast burrito, super good, kind of has like an Asian twist to it, but the sauce is super awesome and I highly recommend it. Yeah, so basically we got the green screen behind us, uh, this is for the intro. We see you guys. What do you think, of, hey Ant, what do you think about that? Do you like that? Beautiful. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kenny Dennis with Rake and Live, and this is your hidden gem of the week. And this week we headed down to Brunch Downtown LA restaurant to check out some amazing food. So keep it here and get ready to check it out. I had taken the space just to do uh, catering work and, and meal prep delivery. Uh, and then I found that every time I was hungry, I was limited on options to eat. There weren't too many healthy, affordable food options around here. So I figured if I'm having this problem, there's an excellent chance the community is having the same issues, uh, which brought us to Brunch CTLA, which was just an idea of bringing delicious, homemade, all from scratch, affordable food that has a healthy tone to it, uh, to this area. The one thing we do is we try to sneak vegetables into everything. Uh, we are very vegetable forward. We want people to get the nutrients and the vitamins we are. I think that's a big part of it. And then it's just a matter of, of what we like to eat. You know, food should be exciting. It shouldn't be boring. There should be texture, flavor. Uh, nice combinations, things, just keep it exciting, you know. So a lot of the stuff is breakfast friendly. Uh, we, we serve breakfast and lunch all day, uh, but it's a, it's a mix. It's a mix of some Italian dishes. We do a lot of fresh pastas. We extrude all our own pastas here. We make our own breads, our own sauces. We grind all the meats for that. Uh, and then, you know, it's LA, so obviously there's a huge Korean influence. There's obviously a, a Latin American influence as well. And we just kind of bring it all together. Um, I wouldn't call it fusion by any means, uh, but I myself, I've cooked in a lot of different restaurants, so obviously that influence is going to come through. Uh, being so close to K-Town, that influence is going to come through. Surrounded by such great authentic Mexican food, obviously that's going to leave a little bit of tone to it as well. This is all done by a wonderful artist, uh, Mikolai Wazinski, who lives right upstairs. And he was pretty much given uh, total creative freedom to just kind of do what he wanted. Uh, I think he did a fantastic job. The mural on the counter is actually the street that we're on, Los Angeles Street, and then um, the rest he kind of just threw together. He's a very, very talented young artist. And you know, again, it was important for me to work with somebody from the community. He's right upstairs. I wanted to keep everything as local as possible. But he did an outstanding job. We just wanted uh, the community that we're in to eat well and to not break the bank doing it. Uh, eating healthy can get extremely expensive, unfortunately, and, and we should all be eating healthy as, as much as possible. But yeah, the idea was, it was just uh, to open something up, keep it local, keep it small. Uh, we never want to grow too big. It's important for quality to get to maintain. That's really number one for us. We make everything here and it's all real food. We, uh, we mill the flour here for all our whole wheat stuff. All the recipes start here as, as real raw product. And, and so no matter what they're eating, even if you want to pig out and eat something that's on the unhealthy side, it's still made from scratch. It's still going to be good for you to some extent. 